direct cystoscopic approach for arthroscopic decompression of an intraosseous ganglion of the lunate. Standard wrist arthroscopy portals are marked and a diagnostic arthroscopy is performed using the 3-4 portal. Dry arthroscopy is performed to visualize the non-articular lunate surface. A probe is passed through the 4-5 portal and is used to palpate the scapholunate ligament and the dorsal surface of the lunate. A shaver is passed through the 4-5 portal into the radiocarpal joint and the peripheral soft tissue is debrided. A drill guide is passed through the 4-5 portal and is positioned on the dorsal surface of the lunate. A 2mm drill bit is passed through the guide and a pilot hole is created in the dorsal cortex of the lunate. A guide wire is passed through the sheath into the pilot hole and is drilled into the lunate. An image intensifier is used to confirm the position of the wire in relation to the lunate ganglion. A cannulated drill bit is then used to drill over the guide wire and cyst penetration is confirmed by release of viscous gelatinous material. A radiofrequency probe is used for soft tissue clearance around the lunate for adequate visualization of the drill hole. The arthroscope is now advanced into the lunate drill hole through the 3-4 or the 4-5 portal and the intraosseous ganglion cyst contents are visualized. The 4-5 portal offers a linear trajectory into the lunate and the arthroscope can be advanced further into the cyst. The cyst cavity is probed to identify any cortical perforations and to release any remaining cystic material. A biopsy is obtained under direct visualization using a small joint grasper. The ganglion cyst is now debrided using a 3mm shaver blade passed through the hole into the cavity. Additional curettage is performed using a small curette and an arthroscopic burr. After completion of the curettage, a large bone needle is used to wash out the debris from the cyst cavity. A bone grafting procedure may be performed at this stage if necessary. The final cystoscopic view shows complete decompression of the intraosseous ganglion.